Okay, so I know I'm a little bit late with this one, but Elementary OS Freya, the first beta release, has of course been released over the last couple of weeks. And very similar to the last video that I did of an elementary beta, which was way back in 2012, I'm gonna take a look at the top three features that I am excited for just by looking at this preview of what Elementary OS Freya is going to be about. Now, if you haven't already seen the Elementary OS Luna preview video that I did back in 2012, then I recommend you go and check it out because most of the things that I mentioned in that video still apply for Elementary OS Freya. Now the things that I do mention aren't going to be repeated from that previous video so that I'm not mincing words and saying things that I've already said. But here are the top three things that I'm excited for for Elementary OS Freya in particular. First of all, the Slingshot Launcher. This has undergone quite a bit of work now, so it actually ties in with the Synapse Keyboard Launcher. Now, if you know who I am and how I work, you know that I love keyboard-driven interfaces. So it's great to see that this Slingshot Launcher now has, uh, now is powered by Synapse plugins. So that will include not only launching apps from this Slingshot Launcher like you were able to before, but also, but also searching documents and settings. So let's say, for example, I wanted to launch the terminal. I can just type T-E-R and there you go. And of course, if I had any documents or settings that I wanted to change, such as power settings, then you can see those settings are also present here in the keyboard launcher. So again, it makes everything very, very consistent and very, very convenient for those of us who like our keyboard-driven interfaces. Coming in at number two, I also love the inclusion of the online accounts. Now, obviously this hasn't been fully baked in yet because it is a beta, but the presence and the appearance of the online accounts to connect with the apps such as the mail, the calendar, and your contacts app is a great move on, the part, on, the, on behalf of the elementary team. Every modern OS, in my opinion, should have something like this so that people can access all of the data that they have scattered around the internet. To see an inclusion like this and to see them working towards this, this is very, very exciting. Now, functionally, I'm not exactly sure how well it works, but again, this is a beta, so don't expect great things out of the first beta. This is really only for developers and people like me who get curious. And coming in at number one, the theme and the overall look and base of the distribution is all been updated since the o elementary OS Luna release. I suppose in many ways this can be expected, but the theming has changed in that now you have the window controls integrated into the window itself, thus not taking up any extra room with the title bar. You can also see that we've got a transparent top panel now, as opposed to elementary OS Luna by default did not have that. You've got all of your different controls running along the top panel as you did before. Everything looks very coherent and very similar to elementary OS Luna. So users from that distribution will not be jarred at all. They won't be surprised about where this distribution is going look and feel wise. It's a very gradual evolution and that's what I like to see. It's consistent. They're still sticking with the same design language they always have. And that, in my opinion, is excellent. Now, as far as the base of the distribution, which is also at that number one spot for the best things that I like about this beta preview, is that it is based on Ubuntu 14.04.1. So you're going to have updated hardware support and also some better performance, not to mention more up-to-date packages for an elementary OS. Not to mention that apparently nowadays elementary OS with this new hardware support stack is more able to boot from EFI enabled devices without using Grub. This basically means that if you own a Mac or a more recent Windows computer, you won't have to have an extra ugly boot menu in there. You'll just have the pretty graphical one and you'll be able to boot straight to elementary, which is a pretty handy option. They also use GTK 3.12 instead of 3.10 that comes stock standard in Ubuntu 14.04. And apart from that, everything else is sailing smoothly. As always, with any beta release do not use this on a production system but if you are curious there is nothing that will hurt you as far as opening this up in VirtualBox and having a poke around for yourself but the integration of the apps talking with each other and also talking with the system settings is very exciting and those top three features that are coming in the elementary OS Freya final release is definitely worth getting excited about. Like I mentioned before, if you haven't already checked out the top features of the Elementary OS Luna beta video that I did back in 2012, definitely check those out because that will highlight some other things that I really like about this operating system. And also I do have a review for the final release of the previous Elementary OS. Links will be in the description. If you like what you see here, then give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this content on a regular basis. My name is IG and you can hang out with me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. In the meantime, enjoy the elementary beta if you are a curious type and I shall catch you all next time. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.